Guys go chasing girls they like, it's how the world works. But what if we told you there are things you could do to turn the tables? That's right, there are certain steps you'll take as a man and certain attributes you must possess that'll have ladies chasing you and remain attracted to you. We have these tips right here, so sit back and pay attention. You know how the world works. Ladies get chased, guys do the chasing. It's how the genders are wired to behave. At the train station, at work, at school, and even at a bar. All the girls have to do is sit around and look pretty, and they'll have guys around them like ants to sugar. You've most likely brought yourself down to the ant level at one point in your life, but not anymore. No more of that BS behavior. You're a high-value man who shouldn't be caught thirsting over women. Instead, the way you bag sexy chicks is to have them do the chasing. This is clearly against the general societal structure, so it's not going to be easy. But as long as you're willing to man up and do the work using these tips we'll be mentioning, you're about to completely turn your love life around. With that said, the first of these attributes for women to find you completely irresistible is to stop being needy. Don't play dumb. You know what this means. And if you don't, we'll tell you. Double texting a girl, replying to her texts immediately in a split second, begging to see her, always apologizing for the slightest mistakes. All that is being needy. It might sound crazy to you, but ladies never find any of these behaviors attractive. Being needy only means you have nothing else going on in your life. It means you're boring and you need that one girl to give your life a purpose. And if you haven't figured it out yet, no lady wants a purposeless guy. It shows a lack of self-respect, self-love, and self-confidence. The tragic thing is that many guys in this era are very needy. A lot of it has to do with the wave of masculinity being undervalued in this generation. You go online and you see stuff like, you should be vulnerable as a man. Having an ego doesn't show weakness. We'll say this only once. All that is trash advice. Sure, you can open up to people and you don't have to be a pompous douchebag every time, but you have to maintain the basics of masculinity. Neediness is something that comes naturally naturally for some guys, and it's okay, but part of being a real high-value man is being able to control what you feel the inkling to do. Being needy is an instant turnoff that'll have ladies moving away from you instead of toward you, so it's non-negotiable. The next thing you need to do as a man to get ladies chasing you is to have a confident body language. Note that we didn't say, be confident. That line is almost cliche because every podcast, every self-help website and video mentions it like it's something you just wake up and unlock. Being confident is important as a human, no matter your gender, but what makes the difference to get ladies chasing you is how you show this confidence. Confidence is a trait that has to do with not being afraid and being bold. Many guys master this trait, but the problem is they don't know how to show it until it's a complete necessity, like when they have to get into a physical confrontation. You need more than just the occasional glimpses of confidence to get ladies chasing you. You have to learn to make it your natural body language. The way you walk, your facial expression, the way you stand, that's what really gets the hormones rushing in women. To show confident body language when you walk, keep body movements calm and controlled. Stay in total control of every step you take. When you walk into a room, don't be afraid to take up space. Claim the room by announcing your presence by making yourself large and upright. Take slow, deep breaths, maintain eye contact, and rest your hands at your sides. Ladies easily get charmed by a guy that's in control of himself and his environment, so carry yourself with that aura to show you're the boss. When you're done with these, another important tip to get ladies attracted to you is to make her work for you. If there's anything a guy can do that'll make a lady always attracted to him, it's this. Ladies are used to being chased around. They're used to guys bending over for them, being at their beck and call. Well, you're not one of those guys. You're a high-value man. In the few cases where a pretty lady makes the first move towards a guy, men without self-worth fall head over heels and let themselves get caught up immediately after she says hi. The tough truth is that this is the reason why dudes end up getting their hearts broken. It's easy to give up something you get easily, and when you let a lady get you without work, she'll move on from you as soon as she gets bored. To avoid this and have ladies stay chasing you, you need to make her prove herself self to you. We call this particular trait qualification. Qualification is really just you making the woman prove that she's a cool, interesting girl. She's pretty, she's sexy, she's got a gorgeous body, 
Well, so do a thousand other ladies. You need to make her prove she has more to offer than her looks. Don't be all up in her DMs all day. Don't always look for conversation starters. Don't always be the one to suggest linking up. Women prefer to keep the cards close to their chest during the early stages because it makes them feel like they're in control. So it's up to you as a real divine masculine to turn the tables. Ask her intellectually challenging questions. Put her on her toes and she'll be eating straight out of your palm all through your time with her. Moving on, this next tip is going to sound crazy to regular guys, but real men understand what we mean. Be selfish. No, we're not on any toxic masculinity trash talk. This is a pure fact that'll set you up with women for life. When it comes to your general life as a man, this attribute might not take you far. Hell, it's almost impossible to be selfish as a man in today's world. Everyone seems to be trying to see what they can get from you, and that leaves many dudes with way less than they actually deserve. Because of this, you have to forcefully master the art of being selfish. As much as possible, try to prioritize your needs, and don't always let people get the best of you just because you want to be kind. If you don't do this, where you think you're being kind, women see you as being kind and a pushover. Low-level ladies expect the man to carry all the financial and emotional burdens while they just take what they want. Well, it's bad news for such ladies, because you're not that guy. At least not after watching this video. The type of guy that women just can't resist are those men who don't let societal norms or stereotypes get in their heads. You have to be a man who can plan and execute a life where he's well protected and provided for before anything else. And lastly, before we let you go, the last tool to equip yourself to have ladies chasing you, and one of the most irresistible traits a man can have, is the ability to build sexual tension. Let's keep it real. After all the teasing, talking, and games, it always comes down to how much you can make a woman want you sexually. And the perfect way to unlock that skill is when you master the art of building sexual tension and direct sexual desire through physical touch. Women love physical contact. They can't withstand it, so you need to master it. During conversations, lightly tap the back of your hand against her elbow. Help adjust her hair or pick off a tiny speck of whatever. Hold the door open for her and gently guide her in by touching her back. Do all these from the early stages of meeting her, and when you get closer to her, you can gradually increase physical contact for longer periods of time in more intimate areas. Just make sure she's comfortable with it. Pay attention to her response to your touch so you don't end up doing too much. If she allows you to touch her or starts touching you in response, then get more personal with your touch. If she doesn't seem to like you touching her, it's all good. Just take a step back and let her grow more comfortable with you before you try again. Be direct, be focused, and go for what you want. That's what makes you a high-value man.